Hello teachers, parents, and kids. Welcome to this Wonder Kids Academy video. Have you ever been to the beach and played with sand? Maybe you built a tall sand castle or buried your toes in the warm, soft grains. But have you ever wondered, where does sand come from? Let's go on an awesome adventure to discover the secret life of sand. A long, long time ago, way before any of us were born, there were huge mountains and rocky cliffs. These giant rocks were strong, but guess what? Over time, the wind, rain, and even the freezing and melting of water started to break them apart. This amazing process is called weathering. The rocks would crack, crumble, and slowly turn into tiny little pieces, and after a really, really long time, those little pieces became sand. Sand looks tiny and simple, right? But if you looked at it under a magnifying glass, you'd see that sand is made up of all sorts of tiny pieces of minerals and crushed up rocks. One of the most common minerals in sand is called quartz. It's super hard and shiny and makes up a lot of the sand you see on beaches. Sometimes, Sand can even come from seashells or coral that break down in the ocean over time. So cool. Okay, so now we have tiny sand pieces. But how do they get all the way to the beach? Here's the fun part. Rivers and streams carry those tiny rock pieces from mountains and hills and bring them downstream. As the water flows, it picks up more and more sand and pebbles. Eventually, the river empties into lakes or oceans, and ta-da, the sand gets left behind on the shore. It's like nature's delivery truck bringing sand to the beach. But wait, beaches aren't the only place with sand. What about deserts? Yep, deserts have lots and lots of sand too. Those big wavy hills are called sand dunes. In deserts, the sand comes mostly from rocks that broke down a long time ago. The wind blows the sand all over, shaping it into cool patterns and dunes. So whether it's a beach or a desert, sand has a long journey before it gets to where we find it. Did you know not all sand looks the same? Some sand is white, like the sand in the Bahamas, because it's made mostly from crushed coral and shells. Some sand is black, like the beaches in Hawaii, because it comes from cooled down lava from volcanoes. And some sand is even pink or green. How awesome is that? Sand comes in all colors and textures, depending on what kind of rocks and shells it's made from. Nature is like a big artist with an endless box of crayons. Sand fun facts time. Number 1. Sand is used to make glass. That's right, your windows, drinking glasses, and even smartphone screens start as sand. Number 2. The Sahara Desert has so much sand that it is the biggest hot desert in the world. Number 3. Tiny animals like crabs and worms live in the sand. They dig tunnels and make their homes under your feet. Number 4. It can take thousands or even many, many years to make the sand we see today. Isn't that amazing? So, Next time you're playing at the beach or digging in a sandbox, remember, you're holding tiny pieces of ancient mountains, seashells, and even volcanoes. Sand is not just fun to play with, it's part of the Earth's great big story. From rocky cliffs to your bucket and shovel, sand has traveled far and wide to be with you. Thank you for watching this Wonder Kids Academy video, and I hope you and your kids have a happy and healthy day. Make sure to check out our channel for fun and educational videos designed especially for preschoolers and young kids, and see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell.